Hi guys, I'm Dave, and welcome to Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer that I've had uh, a number of times, and I just came across it, and it's uh, it's been a solid, solid performer every time I've had it. This is Founders Sumatra Mountain Brown. This is um, an Imperial Brown Ale. So I think they call it an Imperial because it's above 8.5%. On an earlier video we had talked about what Imperial means, and there's a couple different things, and people kind of take it a little bit loosely, but... Um, uh, let's, let's get into it and then we'll, we'll keep talking. The initial smell is very, very malty, kind of caramely, with a hint of coffee on the back end. Maybe coffee and some dark, dark chocolate on the back end, but the, the initial scent is definitely like a malty, caramely, Pouring a hair lighter than I remember, but it, like I said, it's been over a year since I've had this. It's definitely not not black. It's got kind of a Dr. Pepper uh, coloring. All right, let's take the first sip. Plenty of coffee there. Definitely a uh, strong hit of coffee right up front. Followed by that maltiness and, and some dark chocolate. This beer is 9% uh, ABV. Definitely doesn't taste like a 9%er. You get in trouble with a couple of these. Yeah, it's just as good as I remember it. <clears throat> um, the uh, IBUs on this are 40, which I would say is fairly accurate. It's a little sweeter, more sweet than bitter. Yeah, that's good. Let's see what else we got on this beer. Oh, price. This is uh, twelve ninety nine a four pack. A little on the pricey side, but I mean it's a solid, solid beer. If you were out for any beer like this, you're gonna pay between six and eight bucks a bottle out at a bar. So to drink it at home for half of that, or even less, yeah, a quarter. Uh, what is that? No, you yeah, about half of that. That's a pretty good price. This is brewed with chocolate, aromatic, and Munich malts. Um, on one of the, uh, I think on the Rogue Santa's Private Reserve 2017, that had Munich malt in it as well. This has German and Pearl hops that give it, uh, kind of give it a fullness, I think. And these go down really smooth. When it first hits your mouth, you get a lot of coffee. And it's a hair bitter. But then you get kind of the sweet maltiness and definitely a caramely, whatever wherever they roasted the malt, there's definitely, definitely some caramel flavors that come out. There's definitely some dark chocolate, but not a, it's not it's just a hint of dark chocolate flavor for me. I'm sure different people would taste it differently. And that's why, you know, when I do these with my friends, it's nice to see if they pick up the same thing we do. Um, people that smell very good usually have a different flavor profile or pick up on different flavor profiles than people that smell normally. So that's an interesting thing. Let's look at the bottle. Um, Nothing special on the bottle, yellow and brown, kind of, kind of standard for founders. Kind of, they have kind of a muted um, label theme. Imperial Brown Ale brewed with Sumatra coffee. Here's a Dave story. I have actually been to Sumatra. Um, I went from so 
Indonesia is an archipelago right above the Philippines, and it kind of curves up at the end. And Sumatra is that, that northern kind of dog leg is at the, it's at the top. So I was backpacking when I was 21, and I went from Malaysia to Indonesia. And we took this, um, this speed ferry across. It's the first time I almost had uh, seasickness. It was very, we're in this, uh, uh, it was a speed ferry. It was a sealed cabin, and we were, we were moving in like 10 foot seas. We're, you know, coming off the water, landing. A bunch of people were getting sick. And uh, I felt very, very nauseous. It was about a 40, 45 minute ride, I think. Maybe it was longer. It just felt, maybe it felt longer. It was a long time ago, almost 20 years ago. But um, we went to Sumatra. So Sumatra is known for their coffee and their weed. But they're definitely known for their coffee. And um, the coffee in Sumatra was very, very good. It was so strong, it would make your tongue tingle. Like, and you would be, I mean, a ton of caffeine in it. It was really good having it locally. Um, I'm sure the stuff that we get here is is a roasted differently, so it probably milds some of that out. I don't know. But anyway, it was a very cool trip. I learned a lot uh, while backpacking through different countries in Southeast Asia, and it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. And drank a lot of different beers. Um, in Malaysia, I think it was in Malaysia. But like maybe the night before we came to Sumatra, I had a Carlsberg Special Brew. And if you've never had that before, it's very strong and they creep up on you. And um, I was drinking regular Carlsberg and they ran out of it. And the guy's like, "Well, we have these special brews." He's like, "You gotta be careful though." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, whatever, man." They, uh, I, I definitely remember them hitting me pretty hard. This is good, and I'm so happy I have three more in the fridge because these are going down way, way too smooth. I think I might follow this one up with another one right after it. It's just such an easy drinking beer. It's almost like drinking a cold brew iced coffee, but beer, if that makes sense. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just good. I really like this glass. I talked about this glass before. This is from Hammered Lamb. It's got the little bevel on. It's got the little little place for your fingers on the bottom, and a little bevel for your lip on the top. It's it's pretty cool. I just did another beer from Founders. I did the uh, Backwoods Bastard, and that was very good. Um, it's almost. Uh, they have an uh, Old Bastard, I think, is a regular Scotch Ale, and the Backwoods Bastard is the barrel aged version. So maybe I'll have to do just the regular, um, regular Bastard and see what the difference is. But this is good. Anytime you find this, this is just a, a good standard. Um, I'll probably just leave this in the fridge and drink whenever I'm low on some other stuff. Or This is fairly easy to get, even though it's only released a couple times a year. Or for a couple months, maybe, I think, throughout the year. But um, it seems pretty easy to get. There's a special 2018 release that's already on Untapped. Um, and I haven't seen that. This this has a, uh, a bottled on date of 12-14-2017. Uh, so this is not the 2018 release. I um, have ranked this beer before. And I would rank it again the same. And that would be a 4. This is just a really solid, solid um, coffee brown ale. Brown ales really kind of check all the boxes for a hearty beer. It's just good. Man, the end of that came too soon. But until next time, cheers.